tell you what I avoid at the grocery store. Oysters. Can someone who likes them tell me why they are slimy and the texture is just off? Dr. Brooke here. This is Cook with Dr. Brooke, where we talk about the connection between nutrition and mental health outcomes. So yes, I do love oysters, but I know they're not everybody's cup of tea. Let me tell you why I love them so much and how they can be a little easier to incorporate in your diet. So as far as foods that have nutritional value with specific micro and macronutrients that we know are important for supporting mental health, oysters top the list. They are a great source of zinc, vitamin B12. They get a measurable amount of protein and omega-3 fats, all for very few calories. Oysters are like 10 calories per oyster when you're just eating them raw without any toppings on them or without frying them. They're pretty low calorie, but loaded with those micronutrients we talked about. The macronutrients that they're composed of are really good for supporting brain health. But yes, they are slimy, and I'm certainly not normally eating them without any condiments or toppings or other things going on because they can be a little bit much on their own. I eat them more often in another form that is easier to get at the grocery store and a little bit more palatable. So Liam, what you're gonna to wanna to do is get your hand on some smoked oysters the next time you're at the grocery store. There's a can, a tin inside this paper packaging. Smoked oysters, once they're smoked, they taste like smoked salmon. They taste really smoky and umami-y. They don't have as much of that like fishy taste. And they're also gonna be a much firmer texture. They kind of um, lose some of their fluid content when they're getting smoked. So it's a firmer texture that's not slippery and slimy. I know a lot of people will kind of mix it with cream cheese and herbs as like a dip or a spread as like an appetizer. The way I really like to use these is by kind of sauteing it down with garlic and chili flakes and some olive oil and some tomato paste and making this kind of like smoked oyster ragu spicy sauce thing. It's super tasty and it's loaded with great micronutrients and macronutrients that are gonna support brain health. And this is a recipe that's relatively cheap, relatively easy to put together and really, really tasty. Like it doesn't taste that fishy. When people taste it, they go, oh, what is that? Like it tastes, I get compliments on this recipe and most people don't realize that it's a lot of smoked oysters. So I hope you enjoy experimenting with that in your kitchen. If you or any of your viewers wanna learn more about nutritional psychiatry or that connection between food and mental health outcomes, come over to Cook with Dr. Brooke. I've got a lot of studies, recipes, other inspirational content over on my channel.